Hi, I'm Dr. Tejas. Today we're going to talk about the safety pin cycle and how it relates to your health through your nervous system. So our entire body is controlled by our brain. Right? In fact, the only time someone's considered dead is when they're brain dead. That brain controls and coordinates all functions of the body. In fact, Gray's Anatomy, the anatomy book we all use, all health professionals, tell us that the central nervous system controls and coordinates all functions of the body. So here's the brain and it is communicating with every cell in the body. Right? It's telling that cell what to do. Right? In fact, these cells are dying and new ones are being formed. The brain's telling those cells how to form. Now, also, there's nerve flow from every cell back to the brain. Right? So we have a sensory loop. Now, this whole thing is encased in bone. In fact, it's the only part of our body that is encased in bone. This part here within the spinal column, here we've got that bony helmet called skull. Right? Now, what if we have a misalignment and we pinch a nerve? It's always going to alter the function at the cell, always, guaranteed. But what might the message back be through the sensory nerve? Pain. Right? What's the most common treatment for this? Painkiller. Right? So, what if instead of taking a painkiller and adding more side effects, and in fact if you take a painkiller, you're just stopping the brain from knowing what to do. Right? Instead, we want to remove the pressure. Right? In fact, here's another scenario. Say that pain message is getting through and we have that pinch nerve. Now at least the brain knows to tell the muscles to tighten up and try to protect the area. Maybe it puts a little custom inflammation in there. It tries to compensate. But once we mask that pain, then we actually have a bigger problem. Now also, keep in mind, pinch nerve here, right? Affect the cell. What if we pinch a nerve here instead? Right? Now we've got a lack of communication from the cells back to the brain. The brain may not feel what's going on. Here's a good example. Number one cause of amputation in the US, diabetic neuropathy. Patient has that unfortunate problem that affects the nervous system. They cut their foot, but it feels no pain. Because it feels no pain, the brain doesn't know it's there can heal, can result in amputation. All right. So what's the job of the chiropractor, at least in this office? Remove all interference. Let us be the way God intended us, all right? or God given a right to health through normal communication from our brain. Thank you.